Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we did most of Eastern Palace, and in this part, we picked up the big key. And we are ready to complete the game. So we quick hit that switch, and that block goes down, so it is down for the rest of time. We just gotta walk over, shoot our bow, and this entire centerpiece actually rotates, giving us a path up to the boss's room. I'm very glad about that. That's a very nice touch. Because it was just in here, you could see it and everything, you just couldn't reach it. And it looks like because of that ramp, we are entering the third floor right here. So that's a nice little room that goes from second to third floor. <laughs> and ha, after all your posing, all your preening, just look at you now. This is why I ended the episode in the last part, because we were going to need a little more time for this boss fight. Now, my fine fellow, prepare to be made into my latest artwork. You'll have a privileged place in my collection of the sages. Also, what is this room's purpose normally? It's just a pit of death. An excellent painting. What a knack I have for capturing the smallest details just so. The ears again they're referencing. So we will have to save this guy before we can get his sand rod. Oh who? You're that wriggly worm I saw at the sanctuary. What? Have you come to challenge me again? I don't have time to coddle would-be heroes, but since you insist, I will oblige. And he seals off the doorway. So, you gotta shoot him with the bow, and then I run over and I stab him with the sword. Because he will always want to be as far away from you as he can get. And he is powering up, so we've beaten his first phase already. And he can hide in the walls while we have to take out his army, who gave us a heart. So, uh, give us two hearts. Oh, we didn't get him in time. You want to be on the opposite side of him to make it easiest to shoot with? And as long as you interrupt his casting, you can get a few hits off on him. He can use um, the knights as well as a lightning attack where he jumps out and actually tries to hit the entire... Like, there's, he'll hit like line to line to take out it. Or he'll have one that chases you, I believe. Uh, enough of this. You're going to spoil everything. You forced my hands. I must brush you aside. And he uses his magic to seal us into the wall. Which, I thought he had a good idea, like a good eye for uh, detail. Where's my sword? Where's my shield? I made sure to purchase the shield. What a sad drab painting you make. You can rot there for all I care. And it's not like non-living um, pieces stay. I mean, like, don't stay, because you saw his his staff even showed up in the picture, so I don't know why they've specifically made it so that you cannot keep your sword and shield on the wall. Oh, how I long to hang that exquisite Princess Zelda on my wall. So, going after Zelda next is what we're hearing, because I guess Zelda would be one of the sages, wouldn't she? But, we are stuck here. This is the end of the game. Except for that bracelet Ravio gave us. So he saved us with the bow and he gave us the ability to leave walls. Which might not be the most helpful thing in the world because even if we can leave walls he still sealed the entrance. So we cannot get out of here without being able to enter walls. Which I guess after powered up by Yuga's magic the bracelet will do that and allow us to be able to escape this area safely. Bravio's bracelet saved you, but how? Anyways, it seems you can now merge into walls. But we can also get a heart container. I guess you just wanted to leave it for whoever came by next, because you, you know he wasn't giving it for us. So you can follow the walls and you can get an energy potion and a little bit of rupees. But that's not what I wanted to go for. I picked the wrong side. If we hop out of this, we can hop in on the other one, and now we can walk along the other side. It's a nice little 
Okay. From here, we can head all the way over. We're going to pass under the slit. And we can't quite get onto the raised area there. But the game is nice enough to give us um, a full refill where we landed. Pick up the rest of the rupees. And another full refill remains. Anything with purple in the center is a free refill. We got a silver rupee. It's worth 100 rupees. Lucky us. So we now have 370 rupees. Even though we have a lot, I know we're going to need a lot of rupees in this game, so it's not the best thing in the world. We can now continue on and just drop over here and head into this side-scrolling area. Because, yes, the actual flooring... It kicks you out too far. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, now we know that. But if we just head over here... Here's where you find you cannot get past either of these. And, provided it gets to at least the halfway point, you can continue on. But we've now reached the first floor. And we follow the walls when they get moved themselves. So it's a good, interesting way to start. We'll pick up our heart from our fall, and we're just going to head this way, see if there's anything over here that's worth collecting, like... A purple rupee! 420. Yes, 420 rupees. I like how when you're in the wall, um, like if you're right here, you can see my gauge isn't changing, I cannot leave. So it's nice and doesn't drain it. And the last thing from this dungeon is another silver rupee. We are in a great state for the start of the game. We've got our first bottle, we have got our bow, and we have 520 rupees. Let's head out of this dungeon and meet up with Sahasrala. Ah, oh, my lad, you finally found your way back out of the Eastern Palace. But what of Osvala? No, Yuga has taken Osvala too? Or still, he now has two of our sages. Uh, yeah, two. Um, And that fiend said he was going after Princess Zelda next. We mustn't let that happen. It just happened. My word, what was that? Are we too late? Something dire is happening at Hero Castles. So there's no time to waste. He said he couldn't get to Eastern Palace as fast as us, but he makes it to Hero Castle just as fast as after running all the way to Eastern Palace. What is going on here? That barrier, I've never seen such magic. I daren't approach it. But we must break through somehow. Princess Zelda and Lady Impa are trapped inside the castle. Listen well, Link. We must turn again to the legend of old for our solution. These abominable events are an echo of what happened all those years ago. Then, when the castle was in the grip of evil, the hero of that day found the Master Sword. The hero first had to claim three pendants of virtue to prove himself worthy of the blade. But there we are already thwarted, for one of those pendants is inside the castle with Princess Zelda. Oh, what a quandary. We need her pendant, but there's no way to get it. Well, what's that? It can't be. You're wearing... That's the Pendant of Courage. What in Hyrule are you doing with it, Link? She gave it to you? A special charm. How right she was. She must have sensed the evil in Hyrule, and the rise of a new hero to meet it. So it is you. It must be. Why else would the princess have given you the Pendant of Courage? She knew you would need to get the Master Sword. Well then, my young hero, you've got a quest. You've got quite a quest ahead of you. You have to find the other two pendants. One pendant has been enshrined in the House of Gales, and the other pendant in the Tower of Hera. I'll mark those spots on your map, Link. We have got the Pendant of Courage for beating the first dungeon. But it's prudent to save before taking such a quest. Care to do that? You are not a weather vane. I do not want to save with you. I just, it was just a thought. It's the wisdom of the ages to save every now and then. I shall head home to search for my library for key clues to who the other seven sages of our day may be. It's up to you now, Link. And yes, those paintings that were on the wall are now Yuga's um, henchmen. 
I don't want to fight the red one, so let's just escape. There's not much we can do right now outside of that. So, we will head back to our house. The weather rains when it's a moment that you should save, or they just feel like you've been playing long enough without saving, uh, we'll do this little dance. Any, I guess, story progress will make them want to do the dance. But with 534 rupees, let's head into our house. Because... Oh, no, not yet. Hey, welcome back, little hero. I guess not. I was going to say, because we need Ravio's help again. But not yet. Yo-ho, gully, it's time to come home. He must not be able to hear me. Oh, I hope he hasn't got himself lost in the woods down south. This is where the game tells you where Gully is. So, let's go see Gully. Clearly, that's what the game wants us to do. And we can see there are now these monsters walking around. Because these guys were not there in the first place. I don't remember what I was beating up, but I don't think it was these armed guys. Man, hey, how are you doing? Have you seen Gully? He's playing around here. Just keep an eye out for my little guy, okay? He's up here. Alright, now that we've told her where he is, you can see Gully is not here. And instead, his bag is. So we'll talk to it. Oh, Pink! Have you seen Gully in here? Wait, did you just find that pouch? Oh my stars, Gully had that! I made it for you so you could carry more items, but he insisted on being the one who gave it to you. I think he just wanted to carry more items and not tell you. If you found it here, then where is my gully? Oh, how awful. I'd better tell my husband. I'm sure we can find him somehow. We have to. But please, you should use that pouch so I won't have to worry about you quite as much. And we have now got a pouch which lets us set items to X. I didn't get this in my first playthrough until really close to the end, and I regret not getting it because it is a very useful item, because look at this. We can throw, while we don't need our fairy, a net here. So now if we do come across any uh, bees, golden or otherwise, we can catch them quickly. Like the bee maniacs we are being trained to be. Oh, walked right into that guy. Just checking my timer to see what time it was. Oh, well, hello! Another bee. Better let it go. It does not look golden, so I wasn't too upset that I didn't get it. Let's go take a look around town. Seems like this place hasn't been hit by anything yet. You can hear the weather rain really happy to see us. Walking around town, nothing really that interesting. So let's head to the north. I've wanted to head here for a while, but I really didn't have any reason to, but we're heading now towards the Tower of Hera. Oh, but this witch has come to visit. What do you have to tell us? Once you get past a certain point of map, um, Irene's going to show up. Huh. Greenie, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing a green hat? Irene's going to come talk to you. And, well, you'll see in a second. Oh my, haven't you heard me? of me? I'm Irene, the best witch of my generation. The only witch of your generation. Still a junior witch, but whatever. Alright, look, get this. I've had my fortune told this morning, right? And I was told I'd soon be visited by disaster. Disaster. But I want to change my future. I should take care of green. Like, green? What, I should take care of the grass? I'm not mowing every lawn in Hyrule. Forget that. I'm a witch on the rise. Then you came along and it all made sense. I've got to take care of you, greenie. So here, take this thing. And we get a bell. We have now learned fly from Pokemon. Been seeing those weather vanes all over the place? Just ring that bell and I'll fly you to any of the ones you found. Normally I don't take passenger, but I'd rather haul you over all over Hyrule than face disaster. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my grams. Later. Hey, you been roaming around here? Here, been to that fortune teller over there yet? He's always got some good info about what's to come, so if you're lost or stuck, go chat with him. If you find yourself stuck, don't forget to have your fortune told. See, I just can't help helping you. And yes, we are given the best item, 
the fast travel. So we can play this right here and go to the Sanctuary, Eastern Palace, Kakariko Village, or our house. Let's head to our house. Well, no, you know what? We'll just call it here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play A Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In this and the next part, we're going to be headed up to the Death Mountain area. See you guys then.